If you are also looking for professional certified structural engineering services or courses, then don't forget to check link in description of this video. In this video, we'll discuss the general guidelines for new buildings. Number first is slope stability. As a structure engineer, we have to consider this as an important factor when designing a structure. When the slope is more than 30 degrees, where there is landslide risk, where soil is clay or poor surface water drainage. As a guide allow 1.7 meter horizontal for every 1 meter vertical to identify the area that is at risk. This is also shown on the figure if there is 17 meter change in horizontal coordinate compared to vertical coordinate then the slope is at risk. For example this slope is at risk as we have horizontal as 17 meter and vertical as 10 meter. Locate the building away from slope that is the most immediate solution that you can provide. Plant trees to reduce the risk that means you are providing anchorage for the ground or some stopping surface. Provide adequate surface water drainage that is shown in this figure that if you can provide adequate drainage of the water then the slope would appropriately be stable. Construct retaining walls, terraces or reduce slope. Here we have constructed retaining walls and terraces to avoid the stability failure and rubble falling into the structure. Avoid placing building foundations on defrosted and cultivated lands. Avoid placing foundation near water streams or where there is lack of surface water drainage. Make sure to place foundation minimum 3 feet below firm ground that is natural ground level. Building shapes. Square buildings offer best resistance up to 5 meter unsupported wall length. For rectangular buildings length should not be more than 3 times of the width of the building. Complex shape inherit weakness. Complex shape into convert complex shape into simple square or rectangle by adding seismic joint. We have discussed in an, in the e types course that how to provide seismic joint or expansion joint. You can check the video given on this channel. Miscellaneous requirement. Miscellaneous requirement are shown on the figure. We have to strengthen and brace the roof structure to protect it against the wind thrust from uprooting the roof. We have to provide ties to hold down the rafters. The ties are here which are protecting the structure from uprooting and door and window opening locations are to be installed within the structure considering the structural opening as well as criteria for wind design should be thoroughly checked for structures uplift due to wind load flat and low pitch roof are susceptible to uplift due to wind for example, on the left side of the structure, uh, left side of the screen, we have a structure showing poor performance to wind uplift. On uh, the center structure provides reasonably good performance against wind load, while the best performance against wind uplift load is on the right side. Ideally, the angle of between 30 to 45 degrees should be achieved for the best performance of the roof or the gable roof or hip roof against uplift load of wind guidelines for new masonry